Shut up and sit down. Oh, hello and welcome. And this is going to be a very, very quick North Wales side by side video. And it's reference monitoring the 12 volt battery in your car. Quite a long time ago, I got myself a extension lead that comes off the 12 volt power outlet that runs through to that contraption. And on that contraption, it tells me what the um, the battery condition is on the 12 volt battery. So red, low, 12 volt, medium, high. If it's lit green, you've got a good 12 volt battery. So I'm actually in ready mode at the moment. So I'm gonna turn the car off. And then I'm just gonna put it into accessory mode. So it's starting. And it's in accessory mode. Now, this 12 volt battery wants charging, but it's now telling me it's mid. Well, I found this little contraption, USB adapter, some type C's and a couple of uh, the old type A's. Well, it's going in there. And it gives me the actual voltage of the 12 volt battery. I did say this battery wants charging. And that's because my car's been sat for about two and a bit weeks after I had my surgery. It never got used. It just sat. And I was quite surprised it actually started when I went to it. So that's the state of my 12 volt battery at the moment, 12.1. But if I turn the car on, that battery will start charging. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, push the start button, watch it go up. There we go. You saw the LEDs go to high and it's now at 13.7. That's its charging voltage off the hybrid system. Um, it's just a simple way of monitoring your 12 volt battery. As long as it's above 12 volts, this car is going to start, whether it's been sat for two or three weeks or not. As long as you've got the right voltage in that battery and it's a good battery, it's going to start. What this needs now is a good run to get some more charge in the battery. It's going to get one tomorrow and it's going to get one on Saturday. It's going to get two good runs and that battery will be bang on then. So, like I say, just a quick video. This was a couple of quid. I don't know how accurate it is. It's close enough for what we need. to monitor our little batteries in our hybrids. I know, thanks for watching. Just thought I'd throw the idea out there if anybody was interested in just keeping an eye on their batteries. Thanks for watching.